Okay, so taking another look at this video of Derek Jeter. I've used it before in the post on the positive load, but this clip also does a really nice job of showing how good hitters create tension in their swing by stepping away from their hands. So here he is, he's at the top of his load. The ball is probably just now being released from the pitcher's hand. Uh, and his knob, you can see, is, is pointing at the catcher. And then as he strides, his hands stay back. They're not gaining ground towards the pitcher. And they're not moving forwards at all. And he's changing the angle of his bat right here. You can see how now his hands are still very much back. And the angle has changed of his bat. Now if we take a look at a clip of me I videotaped the other day hitting inside. You can see I've gotten rid of any negative load, which is nice. I'm happy about that. Right here the knob is pointing at the, the hypothetical catcher. But the problem happens over the next few frames. Right here is about as far back as my hands get. I start my swing and they start to gain ground towards the pitcher without ever changing the angle of my bat. And in this next frame you can see how I've really weakened my position. My hands move to the middle of my body and I've just now started to get the bat on path and it's really not even on path yet so that's that's a real issue. Um, and now I can try to step away from my hands and and leave them back and change the angle of my bat till I'm blue in the face but that's really only the symptom of the problem which actually what is actually going on and you can see it in, in the clip of Jeter is how he engages his backside prior to firing to letting his hands go so essentially the sequence of Derek Jeter's swing is different than mine and that's where I need to improve you can see how he's back his foot is down right here the pitch is probably quarter of the way halfway to home plate his hands are still back changes the angle of his barrel and his backside meaning his his back knee is already going down and forwards before his hands move at all whereas in my swing you can see how the sequence is different my lower body my back knee my back foot they're driving down and forwards in unison with my hands and my upper body and there needs to be a separation in those two those two movements see how they're moving together now we can take a look at another player David Eckstein who does a really good job of creating tension in his swing you can see here how he really draws his hands back I think of it like a bow and arrow if his front side is the bow and his hands are the drawstring on the bow if you were to shoot an arrow you wouldn't just pull it back halfway because you'd only have half the tension and essentially be shooting the arrow half as hard he, he draws his hands all the way back and you can tell that his lower body is engaging before his hands do anything by his heel coming up and his back knee driving down and forwards and you can see right here his back heel comes up and in this next frame you see his his knee point right at us and he's yet to move his hand so essentially the difference between the successful hitters Derek Jeter and David Eckstein occurs in exactly two frames right here one and two Jeter's one one and two his backside engages he leaves his hands back and then these two frames with my swing right here one and two